What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another M19 draft here on the internet. I'm your host, Magic the Gathering, and I'm here with Yu Gi Oh! Uh, better known as Andrew, better known as Music Mike. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna draft some crads here. I'm draft gonna let, I'm gonna let you do the picks, and I'll get uh, how oh, many really? How many vetoes should I get? <laughs> oh, I would say per pack you should get three. Three vetoes per pack? Okay, that's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna. You can oh, you can explain I hate, your I but like as we do this I want oh man I don't even know Johnny's last stand is that bad what is it whenever a creature plays like control dies you can sacrifice it if you do make a four four do you like that card <laughs> <laughs> this is how it gets me to pick without actually picking do you like that card what do you think of that card do you like that card oh, yeah, I haven't played it I don't know it. um what do I what do I see here that I like I like electric I think it's kind of eh. I like electrify. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would say I just like removal, so I would probably go electrify. But maybe that's maybe that's an aggressive first pick. I also like this guy. Yeah, that is good. And I like this guy. Yeah, that's good. That's a. First but I do pick like this. It's because you can't get a lot of them, and they're really good in the the green deck. I don't think it's better than like this guy, but this might be better. Uh, I mean, I'm. I think it's between these two. Let's go with yours, because I, I want this to be a Frank draft. I don't want this to be... Um, I want it to be an Andrew draft. I don't want it people, to be... This is, like, this is going to be draft number 39 that goes on YouTube, 39 or 40. Yeah. People have seen Frank draft. <laughs> they're, they're accustomed to it. Okay. I'm going to take All the right. Electrify, because yeah, that was see. Andrew's... Let's humor it. Let's go. This pack looks real good, actually. It does. Uh, what are you casting? <sighs> hmm. I really like Goblin Instigator. That card has always done me well, but I don't know if it's a that high up pick um, at all. The the Stag has been good, but again, I love I love Strangling Spores. There's a lot of good stuff here. I agree with you. This pack is actually pretty nice. Again, like I might go Spores just because I like removal a lot, but then like that kind of forces you into. Two you also want to consider what the stronger archetypes are. Like gr yeah. red red white is a very strong deck. So you can, I think you could take this, and then you have to actually say, is this better than either this or the, one of these? And it lets you stay red without yeah, having to go into black. Yeah. So. Because this hat's also pretty good. A 4-2 that actually usually kills something on its way in. That's true. Yeah, actually, seconds. I'd say that. All right, we're yeah, doing it. Yeah, I like it. that. Red I've, four days. I haven't played that card enough to like really see it. And it would be nice if one of the other uh, red cards can. This is actually a lot of good red stuff here. Wow. Uh, the Siege Breaker is pretty cool. Card has done well. Uh, the Brute has always been a good one anytime I've been in red. Uh, what do we see that's not red outside of that? Is there anything to pay attention to? This card's very good. This card is great. But I don't think it's better than either of these two. Right. So then for me, I almost like that the Brute is a three drop. Well, no, that's a. I'd probably take the giant if I was drafting this on my own. I agree with you, but it's worth noting this is a goblin, and this guy is relevant. Uh, the number of goblins you have are relevant. That is true. But do we think that that wheels? No. No. I don't think either of these are coming back. If I think that we're going to see more brutes, though. I agree with that. I, I'll give you that. Also, there was a lot of good red cards in that pack, so presumably uh, we should keep seeing more reasonable red cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, what up with that brute, though? There you hey, <laughs> my recklessness paid off. I don't even think that was reckless. Let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, what else? It's, the skeleton is annoying to play against, but I don't think we go black just for it. I'd say just brute, right? Oh, is this our boy? Yeah, it is. Nice. My guy. Adam, come draft. You need to meet Adam. Where does Adam live? San Diego. We play Magic together. Dang. But, like, you don't understand. Wasn't like, he? He's always in Orlando, isn't he? Mm, he used to. He works with a band in Orlando for a minute. Hmm. Ooh, another brute. <laughs> Rewarded. What's up? What's Got up? him. I'm going to put this dude right here. Are you going to do it? Yeah, well, there's something better in this pack, right? I mean, in our color and what we're doing right now. Right. No, this is this card's. Do a little finger kiss. It's good. Um, but yeah, I feel like Adam has gotten really good at magic lately and he does a lot of better things than better that, than you. Yeah. But like a lot yeah. of things that remind me of you and like the way that he thinks and like the decks that he builds, like he's always doing some splashy trickery and are you learning from this? Am I learning from this? Mm -hmm. 
we're going red, so. I'm just going to take this. I like it. It's removal. Yeah, I mean, it's expensive, but it's seven damage to anything, so. We've really solidly established red. I don't even know who the Chick Chick guy from Adventure Time is, so. I don't know either. How did that even happen? I don't know. I'm so excited that we're drafting M19. This guy's actually surprisingly good. Yeah, it is. That's a card that I always like miss myself, and then somebody plays it against me. And you're me, like, and oh like, wow, all of your guys have haste now. Uh, it's just and a, it's a goblin. Yeah, it's just a one one that makes all your yeah actually goblin goblin goblin. So, volley veterans looking pretty op right now, mm -hmm. or regular p, average p, average p, <laughs> a little higher than average p, above average p. A lot of p happening right here. Another motivator. Good lord. Wow. And a Havoc Devils. Havoc Devils is annoying to play against, especially when it's haste. Um, I don't know. What do you think there? I don't think cavalry is better. If we have we have no incentive to be white, I don't think cavalry is worth pulling us into white. Um, I mean, not yet. I think it's one of these two. Totally. I, I, I'm curious of your opinion. Do you go to motivator? Do you like devils more? I, I really don't know the pick there. I think I just Havoc Devils here. Okay. Oh, like Lava Axe is actually... Lava Axe is surprisingly good in this format. <laughs> Thank it's you. really awkward. Thank you. It's really awkward, dude. <laughs> we have had this conversation. Yo. <laughs> Get rewarded. Oh, man. I think Fire Elemental is probably trash. I think it's probably Sure Strike. I yeah. like having the trick. Yeah. It's not removal, but it's something. Um, yeah, the 4-2. Maybe... Ever. Look at this deck. This deck looks great so far. Yeah. Man, we got the... This is a good first pick Electrify, man. Let's go. Whatever, that's not getting played, but it's a red card. Whatever. Well, because it had that weird rare. I'm always thrown off when a pack has a weird rare. If it's weird, just ignore it. It's probably not great. But, like, that, do you think that that rare, like, influence, like... N n nobody went into white for that, right? No, I don't think you're going into white for that. Yeah. Oh, this guy is... is... I haven't even seen this card. Really? Oh, what? What? It's expensive, but it kills any permanent, any non-land permanent. Yeah, it's it's very good. I'm in for it just because I haven't seen it. I can it... see another another brute, but I feel I feel like we're we're less likely to get this guy, and it's more versatile. Yeah. So. Yeah, because we haven't even found our splash yet. But that's just like a dude. How have I not seen that card? That's so I really don't like this card. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I've had people play it against me, and it's been annoying. I haven't played it yet myself. I'm just like, you know, I'll just take it, and it leaves, and it's gone. What else do we see in the pack? Is there Lava Axe or Brute? I'd say Brute's better than Lava Axe. I agree with you. I'll take a Brute. It looks like there's some... I think that Anticipate might get taken. That's cool. Is there... This is hilarious that we're just, like, mono red right now. I know. What are we going to end up splashing? Who cares? Red goes well with a lot of stuff in this set. Okay, this might be our first non... Oh, actually, a Johnny's Pride Mate could be good. What if you gain life? Interesting. And the red-white deck is kind of where you want to be. Yeah, I mean, I... I think it's better than these two. I don't think the black cards are very good. No, I think it is Pride Mate there. Wall of Ice Cream! Thank you so much for the, the sub! Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure to see the YouTube viewers coming over. Wall of Ice Cream, that's such a good name. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking Pride Mate. Yeah, I like that. Oh, what and still, like, we get rewarded with the white card. Oh, whoa. Adam's practicing modern for the tournament? Where would there be a modern tournament? Where is there modern? I don't know. I don't, live where, I, don't, I don't live where you live. There's a tournament in Orlando this weekend. There's a Grand Prix. Yeah. I remember we Grand Prix'd. Hey, we're taking this, buddy. Yeah, we top eight in that Grand Prix. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, that was a good time. Remember in the first day, I was like, hey, we're all going to be here I, day two. That was an insane GP. Oh, wow, shock. All right. Ooh. I do like shock. Is there anything else to note in the Not pack? really. Like, this Dwarven Priest is fine, but it's not, like, going to go in our deck or anything. No, what's that rare? Just a little dumb thing? Uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Great shock. Is that Tom Holland? Who's that? You, apparently. Uh, You're actually... You could, you, could, you could be a Tom Holland. Let's see him. Let's go. Hit me with a Google. Tree fitty. You know who Tom Holland is? Uh uh. He I'm played not... Spider Man. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> 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 
Are we at 348? Wow. I'm usually used to these subs going down, not up. <laughs> well, because like, okay, so, so the thing about Twitch, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime subs, uh, they don't auto renew. Oh. So at the end of the month, if, if someone doesn't come back to your stream on that day, it just expires and you lose the sub. Oh. So every day, like literally every day, yeah. I'll see a decrease because people who subscribed a month ago yeah. didn't actually get around to renewing because, you know, it just expired that day. That makes sense. What do you think of that uh, Brawl Bash? I like it a lot. I think it's the best card. Gift of Paradise is good, too. Hey, you tried. <laughs> I didn't actually click it. I just actually went to I went to do one of these jobbies. What about an instigator? Can we have one of those? Yeah, I think it's better than the brute here because they only have two drops. Yeah. Wow. It was either the Brawl Bash Ogre or there was uh, something else in that pack. I forgot what it was. I wish we got another Gift of Paradise. I got I got you covered, buddy. <laughs> I got you. Oh, sure. We like to have fun here. This looks good so far. Yeah, I think this deck looks great so far. Which means we'll probably go 03. <laughs> it always happens. It's online. Adam says that it's online. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Modern Tomorrow Online. What's up? You should do it. Enter. Battle. How does that work? How do online tournaments work? I don't, I don't really play in many Magic Online things just because they're too time consuming. Mm. Like, it's just very long. Mm. Oh, another ogre. What? These are late ogres, dude. Let's go. I mean, yeah. it's no gift of paradise, but. <laughs> I see what you did there. That's nice. <laughs> All right. So we're either black or white at this point, I believe. Mm -hmm. Which is a good place to be. None of these cards are great. I'll just mm -hmm. take this guy. I think this guy's fine. Yeah. Unexciting, but fine. Mm -hmm. Is pretty much where I'm sitting there. Alex the Worst, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Is that Tree Fitty? That should be 349. Oh. We're getting real close, though. Oh. <sighs> so the thing is, once you hit 500 Twitch subs, they give you a much larger percentage of, uh, of, stream, of income, like of the stream, of the subscription fee. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, dang. Yeah, that's the move. Oh, there's another Gift of Paradise, though. I can't tell if you're being serious. <laughs> no, I'm not. Beast in 16. Thank you so much. 350. Wow. Yo! You guys are awesome, dude. I'm just going to take this. It's probably the pick. I want to wait till it actually officially switches because... I, do you hate the anticipate? Uh, um, uh, I don't know. No, but we're more likely to be green than blue. Yeah. And if we're green, we're already playing this. Yeah. Watch, yeah, watch us go green and grab the Gift of Paradise. That would be really funny. I mean, I think we're still pretty much open. Like, red is great, but uh, I think black, green, or white are viable options for a second color here. I hate that card so much. Talarian Scholar? Yep. It's pretty mediocre. Because it's so vanilla. Like, you're, like, forced to pick it. Like, it comes around, and you're like, I guess I can play it. But it's just, like, <sighs> bothers me. What in the earth? Josh is giving five tier one subs? What in the hell? Is that a thing? What is that? What's Get happening? Get out of here, dude. Is it good or bad? What happened? Was like, you can, you can gift people. Yeah, that was a really late Havoc Devils. You can just gift people subs. Oh my god, what is even happening right now? What's happening? How this needs update you... real fast. What is it? What's it at? It's at 349 still, but it's. Uh... What's it supposed to be? Wow, you can gift like five subs. Oh wow, heroic reinforcements or dismissive pyromancer here. Wow. You know how good this card is, right? No, it's created to... Thank you. Oh, what? Dude, you have to. Unless you have, like, feel a strong way about Dismissive Pyromancer. This card's very good. I mean, I do like card draw in red. That's incredible. But, like, I feel like Heroic Reinforcements is, like, something that wins the game. <laughs> I'm trying to tune Thank you for the million Pog Champ bits. You got Pogs? No, Pog Champ. It's the old... It's this guy. Oh. It's the, uh, it's what the emote is called. What do you think, Frank? It's I'm gotta curious. be this, right? I just feel like that, like, that, like, blows out and wins. It blows out and wins. It kind of makes us go red Andrew white. Cram, 2018. Let's go. Oh, another shock. Oh, make a stand. It's a late murder, too. Oh, sure. 
Do we, sure. Do we go three? No, that's greedy, especially for a two. For two black, shock is dope. Make a stand is. Uh... You can you gift like... up to fifty subs at once. That's unbelievable. Why is that a real thing? Yo, talk to me about this pack, Frank. What do you want? What do you want me to say? All right, so there's spores, which is dope for black. Oh, I think murders. If we're black, or hundred take murder is infinitely better than spores. You're right, thousand percent. That was foolish for me to say. That. Yeah, I was like, but this is not even is an option. Black. So, but then we have so many good white cards. Do we splash white just for the heroic reinforcement? No, we're probably just taking shock here. Or take shock. Like our removal is fine. We have electrify shock. We have uh, high romancers it cage. It feels so bad to pass the murder. Yeah, oh, but then you get electrify, so you get rewarded. Let's go. Yeah, that's an easy pick. Okay. Stag or I think it's actually Pyromancer here. I like Stag a lot, but Pyromancer is surprisingly good. Yeah, we also don't have any two drops. Yeah, and we have a lot of four drops, so yeah, yeah, seems fine. Okay. Oh wow, another shock! Just what? mono shocks dot deck over here. What is Alpine? How have I missed all these random ass rares? 357. Wow, that's insane. All right, well, I can update the old uh, the old doing? sub goal. Oh, I guess I got to do that over here, actually. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? This is exciting. The sub goal is, uh, I guess I can update it now. Well, we get you to 500, right? Oh. oh, sure. What is the move there? I feel like I just feel bad passing an Electrify. I or, agree, or but... Electrify is so good. Are we even playing Brawl Bash Ogre here? I don't know. And I have two of them? No, take Electrify. We're, we're red-white. Josh, you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, Josh, coming through. Josh... To, wait, so if you get to 500, then you win? Uh, yeah, I win. I win, I win Twitch. Yeah, it's a Twitch win. Dude. I'm just going to up it to 500. I'm not even going to play around with yeah, 400 and 350. What are we taking anymore. here? We're, electrify. All right. Yeah. Um, sure Strike, maybe? 500 bits, 500 subs. Sounds good. All right, we're just going to up it to 500. That is the new goal. I like that. Not playing around anymore. Uh, you could take Cinder Barons for like a cute splash. I was thinking that too. That seems like a very frank thing to do. Does it? Yes. More than like the Sure Strike? I don't know. Don't you already I like Charge, strike? but I really don't want a fourth. We also only have 13 creatures. Like this isn't really a Charge deck. It's I mean, Charge is obviously the, the red-white card, but we're not a Charge deck. Wow, this is a, a not a realistic amount of Electrifies, man. Let's go! Yeah, we're just taking it. I'm probably not even playing that one. Okay. It's because you're a coward. That's another creature. Yeah, that's actually fits well. Uh. <laughs> this is actually fine because we do have a Johnny's Pride Mate. Yeah. Which might not even make the cut. We have no life gain. Literal zero life gain in our deck. Wow, this is a late spores. You just take it? Yeah. Uh, 3-2 is a 3-2. I'm not even sure it's worth splashing these. I want to get a big silly bomb rare in this next pack. There is no next pack. No. You only get three. What, what, was that? That was pack three? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was so excited. It didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Where's my bomb rare? Damn it. I think we can cut. Do we just cut these? Really? And just go mono red? Let's just play this maybe. We have three electrify. Like we have a lot of removal. I mean, that is definitely more linear. I wish we had more creatures. Yeah. What do you... Goblin motivator. How many creatures do you have? 12. Oh. 12 seems low. Okay. So... <laughs> I love Me Mecha Misk. Uh, because your messages so far have been... Meteor Golem is trash. Holy crap. I can't believe you picked that. That pack was a disaster. Pack 3, pick 2, late murder. Because uh, your curve really sucks. Brawl Blash is not a splash worthy card. Probably why you should have been attacking out before this. Why are you trying to hold, like, I mean, 
<laughs> Not one thing you said has been positive, and it's all been garbage. Yo, hey, Frank. You have to cut the meteor golem, which is your snap pick, without looking at the pack. Like, <laughs> why I, are you here? I think you're being cyberbullied. What have you? What have you contributed to anything? You're being cyberbullied, Frank. Oh my god, it's just hilarious. Like, why even? Why like spew out fifteen different critis critical comments? Like, what's the point of that? They taught us about this in school. <laughs> Your hey, rubber, his I'm glue. Whatever you say, bounces off you. God, like who wakes up in the morning and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna go on the internet and I'm gonna tell people how they can do things better than the way they're doing them. But I'm gonna do it in like a real shitty way uh, that makes them feel bad. And also, I want to like, I want them to know I'm better. But I'm gonna do it in a condescending way so that they feel like shit about it. Like who wakes up and says that? That's my question. Because you have to be pretty. A pretty big idiot, I think. <laughs> you have to be a pretty big loser to, to wake up and feel that way. Also, too, like, you're the one on stream, so you can really just get to roasting. Oh, I've met the internet, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to call out the internet when the internet acts like shit. So. I respect it. All right, what are we doing about this deck, though? We have 12 creatures. I don't like that. I agree with you. The white splash is cool. Yeah, you want you want a little swifty. We're gonna have to cut one of these electrifies. I don't like it, but okay. Yeah, this is also a thirteenth creature, but technically a fourteenth creature now. True. Is that the best? I guess the pride mate doesn't work. What's the? I guess the cage doesn't really matter. Michael looks way different after getting drunk on stream. Yeah, I don't think the cage matters when we have multiple. Like our, our removal is actually just fine. We can actually probably cut one of the shocks. I'm just obsessed with removal. Aren't we all? I really like it. Yeah, I'll bring in the cage. Sure. You like the cage more than a shot? Yeah, I guess it's better late game, yeah. Oh, the six drop main. I think that that person, that's not a bad point. What? The six drop main. Do we maybe go electrify instead? I like that. I like, <sighs> Do I like, we even need electrify? We have this. Get out of here. This. Give me my electrifies. I don't think the sure strike out for a mighty leap. I think that's just better. Okay. Pride Mate's probably just a fine 2-2 two, two for 2. I think that we... Uh... Wait, we cut a Fiery Finish and we did not replace it with an Electrify. That concerns me. I'm showing you the removal over here, buddy. Also, Body Volley Veteran is solid removal. Okay. And the Meteor Golem is removal. Yeah, like, we have a lot of removal. I, don't, I think we want it more concerned with creatures and ways to get damage through. Actually, I do like Sure Strike with the Brutes. That is, that, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. Like, because they're going to double block and you want to give a first strike and yeah, do all the things. Yeah, that's true. That's not really um, Don't care about any of these. Are cool. Pyromancer is cool. Um, okay, I think so. This is just the deck. Lava Axe? Like, I ride for Lava Axe, but do you think, like, with everything else that we have, is there anything better? I don't know. That's a question for you. What, Lava Axe? Yeah. No, Lava Axe is fantastic. You do like it. It's. I ride for it, but. I'm. I dislike how good it is. Let's put it that way. Okay. I'm just going to submit like this and we're going to play it. All right, let's go. Let's dance. I think we can go 10-7 here. I don't rare. I rarely go 10-7 because I like having enough. Uh, I like having more. I'm, I'm a more 9-8 guy. Yeah, I would go like 11-6. Well, no. You You want to have you want to have these on two. Drops. You have two drops. Let's go. I'm excited now. You're over here with your modern stuff. I don't understand you. Electrify cannot go face. Otherwise, it'd be strictly better than Lava Axe in every metric. Mm. Like, you would just play four damage that goes to the face as an instant for, for, one more, for one less mana every day. So good. So good. I'm so excited for this, Frank. Oh. Starts good. I like that. I'll keep it. I like that a lot. This looks good. Look, Looking we got the two, it, three, four, five. That curves out nice. As long as we the get them shot. lands, Bowie. We really like one more land. Well, I mean, yeah, you need the lands, but like. We've got a little bit of time to get it. Yeah, all right. So now you're just banned because you're an idiot. <laughs> like, you're just a real troll. Oh, like, I exist, to, I exist to give Twitch chat the satisfaction of blah, blah, blah. Like, who cares, man? Shut up. Ha. Ah. <laughs> ah, dude. Unbelievable, man. Got your bitch ass. We're in here for the posy vibes. Agreed. None of that. No time for that. If that's what you exist for, like... <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Fuck around and upset my pal Frank. So sad. I think not. I think not. Pepperidge Farmer, what's going on? Glad to uh, see you finally cut your draft. Wait, you had a podcast? I've had like, yeah. 
I've had like two podcasts in the past. Oh, the fuck? Wow, dude. Adam wants you to do it again. What? <laughs> you guys need to hang out. Come what to about, San Diego. Let's, let's, let's meet you and Adam have a podcast. We can talk about photography, music, and magic. I would love that. Those are all things that all of us like. I know. I agree with you. Wow. Let's totally do that. All right. I'm telling you. One satisfaction buck. Oh, that's no good. I don't like that. If he's watching the stream, he probably heard it, right? Photography, music, and magic. He just made a really dope magazine. I wish I had the His stuff's very good. Dude, he like he because he had like he made a, a magazine, a couple magazines of all of his photo stuff, but then um, just dropped one where it's like one of his photos, but then all the rest are like other people, like other photographers, and he like featured work of everyone, and it's dope. What do we have happening here? I can either just play this guy and attack for three, or I can get rid of this guy and attack for five. Um, I mean, like, what's the what's the ability on that on the mare? Refresh me. Whenever it gets targeted, you gain thirty life. So they gain three. They go to twenty two. Would it be gone? I feel like that's kind of bad again. Like I we have like to get rid of it. Yeah, it's worth getting rid of. I don't know. I'd get rid of it. Was a little bug flying around? Yeah, a little bug flying around. Okay, well. Shield mare. John mare. Shield mare. <laughs> yeah, are you hear the new shield mare album? Mare Quimby. Wow, shield mare Quimby. Oh, that's good. Oh. It's the next evolution. My guy. This, I like this. I like what we have here. They have seven cards in hand, though, so that's crazy. Who cares? They'll the be dead before the they can cast them. Just begun. The games have just begun to live. To love. Oh, they killed our brute. Mm. Buddy, there's more where that came from. Now we've got the handsome devils. That's what that Do you see this bug, from. like, floating around my face? Yeah, it's just a little bug. Yeah, but like I'm like swinging at it, so now I feel ridiculous, and now it's just like, well, that Frank guy, he sure is decent at magic, but he swings at nothing, and I don't like that. I think he's having a stroke, <laughs> dude. This thing is really bugging me. It's like right in my face. I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's there. You know it's there. You confirmed it twice. Don't even lie to me. I know. I just I started like in my head. I was like, man, I like this story of you swinging at nothing now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I take back everything I said. Skymarch Bloodletter, that's a good card. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable with their progression here. Electro off the top. That's a mountain. Not the same. Do you... I mean, I don't really want to attack into this guy. It feels bad. We'll just play this guy. and Next turn we can go un don't, don't block and then shoot, right? Mm -hmm. Presuming nothing else happens ever. And then you do have the Lava Axe. So you've, you've still got some threats. They didn't do anything. That's very fascinating. Black white is good. All right, so boop boop. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's go. They only have three cards, so it is possible they don't have anything good. Playing something. The flash three two. Shoot the guy. Boop. Burp, 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 My shock has flash as well. When was shock printed first? Oh, God. Ages ago. Oh, my God. It's literally right. It's just floating around. I can literally see it and feel it. And... Ugh. <laughs> Are you going to pump here? What? Sure. Oh. Okay. They're that at was... six. We have lava axe in hand. I guess oh, they we have goes. lava axe in hand. Do you see I it? see it now. Oh, yeah. I see it. It's a little gnat. Yeah, it's real annoying. Maybe turn the fan up more. And just... It's got one setting, man. It went up. <sighs> block here, block here, huh? No, oh, that's no good. Shock off the top wins us the game. Shock off the top. And you're to blame. You give red a bad name. I'm curious. So you did, you just, you lava axe there just to use the mana? Yeah, because like, if we hold it, it's just not as good. Okay. 
We also have eight trample now. right now, which is pretty good. If good. they can stop playing things, I'd really appreciate it. Yep. I mean, that's another evasive creature. I agree with you. They need two blockers for that guy. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to the, the old swing. Uh, trample wouldn't do it because they have a 4-4, four, four, so they block our 4-3, they take none. So, wow. Okay. I think we still wait one turn. Following your lead, I respect it. Because they could be holding something that would just screw us. Yeah, and two Bogger Brutes is pretty hard to... Like, they need basically a million blockers this turn. Yeah. The old, the old mountain draw. I wish we drew something spicy. So do I, but I think we probably just... Yeah, I think they're just like, oh, no blocks. Go to negative 14. Seems good. There it is. Cool. Ooh, Electrify Okay. Okay. What do you think? What could we have added? Shock seems actually pretty good. They have a bunch of shockable guys. Yeah, they do. I like that. Um, what do you cut? Do you see it? Look at it. It's Oh, oh my god, it. it's infuriating, man. The cage ended up being good. Oh, uh, I don't actually use Twitter that much, so it's not going to be on Twitter. What's on Twitter? Uh, the modern list that we just played. Yeah, you can just check the deck list, the uh, the deck list function. Oh, I think my package is being delivered. Oh, it is. Nice. This guy's about to get a frame. Nat tilt is real, man. The nat tilt is super real right now. One land. <sighs> Does he? It's real do tempting. It? It's real tempting. I'm down. <laughs> Does he do it? Let's think about it. What happens if we keep it? I mean, worst case scenario, we lose the game. Yes, but like, what's how does the game play out? You have a couple. You have the pyromancer and a motivator and a shock, into a couple removal spells and a giant. So pretty much what red does. But if we don't draw the land, it gets bad. Ah, uh, maybe it's a mole. Okay. This one I gotta keep, but. Well, actually, that's feels bad still. But at least there's some. I mean, this is strong. This is a strong opening. Yeah. Like if we can get lands for these. Yeah. You never get mana screwed. We'll be fine. Yeah, I agree with you. Is that a joke amongst you? Yes, I literally always lose at least one round in every draft. It's actually exactly one round in every draft, too. Just mana screwed. Never being able to play my things. And um, so I always go 2-1. It's a consistent 2-1. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to get Adam to stream it. Yep, we missed the land yes. drop. Help me convince Adam to stream. What, what would he stream? I don't know, like magic in himself? It's real hard to do. Like, it's not, not as in technically, but like, it's hard to be, um, to do it consistently and see any kind of result. Well, I mean, figure you've been writing for however long, been playing magic for, like, what how long about 10 years yeah i was thinking something like that and we didn't attack with this guy because they could have hired blade which they do so uh, that's what we're trying to play around the problem is like we don't have a third a three drop so if we don't hit a if we hit a land we can't do anything if we don't hit a land we can't do anything so it's we're in a real bad awkward like middle ground area okay. all right so next turn is good because if we hit a land we're fine but we do have to take a turn off, unfortunately. And if we don't hit a land, hopefully it's a three drop, because I feel like that we have most of our expensive cards in hand. I don't think this is most. Oh, uh, we have a lot. Uh, we have a lot. That's a lot. 60% on screw, 100%. Yep, that's pretty good. What's that? Yep, that is okay. a four drop. Yeah, that's a four drop. This is yeah. a 6-6 six, six demon with flying and trample. Hi, I'm just a big 6-6 six, six demon. I've got flying and trample. Like you do. Like I do. Wow. Here comes here comes us for a whole bunch. Okay. I forgot about that was another high curve card that we had. And we're gonna go to game three. Oh, and we go to game three. Like we draw that next turn, it just doesn't do anything. We we deal them four this turn, they go to eleven. Mm. Next turn we'll give this guy haste, we'll attack for three, four, five, six. So they go to five. And that's if they don't play anything and they have five mana up, just not. You looking think good. so fast, I hate it. You hate that? Well, I don't actually hate it. I hate God. it because I'm jealous that I don't. 
I like. I was gonna. I was gonna relate myself to to a character that goes slow, and then I couldn't think of any. But like, you're just quick with it. You're quick with the thoughts. Do we make? Oh, this hand is great. Yeah, that is good. I wonder. Do you think that the deck is too expensive, though? All in? Like, was that like? No, not at all. We have seventeen lands. Like, we don't have less lands than any other deck, right? Yeah. So one thing people do is they look at an aggressive deck, a deck that's more aggressive, and they're like, you shouldn't have these high ends. This is what that idiot who was, uh, you know, just spouting off earlier was saying about how the deck shouldn't have the Meteor Golem in it. But you're not like it's not like a 15 land deck playing Meteor Golem. It's just a more aggressive deck with a seven drop in it, which is totally fine because you're going to draw the same amount of lands in this deck as you would in a regular deck because there's 17 in it. Like 17 lands is totally fine in a deck with a Meteor Golem in it. It's just not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's true, like, land-wise, but I guess, like, is the counter-argument to that is that, like, if you're building a deck like this, that you should build it not to have 17 land, it should just be faster? Aloha, bro. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, Yeah, you could make that argument, but we don't actually have cards that we're, like... It's not like we're putting something in... We're not, we're not putting the media Golem in instead of, like, a different card. Electrify. I don't think that's... That's not a better... <laughs> like, that's not a... I just like it. Well, you were free to do so, my friend. Here we are, though, with the motivator, and it feels good. Not that we can use it right now. Right. But it's a good card. Good card. I like that the pro gamers uh, use racing seats. Like the the. Really, you like that? Well, I think it's funny. I think it's funny too. I think I don't know if they're they they feel kind of strange to me. <laughs> Have you ever sat in one of the thrones? Have you ever been a racing seat guy? No. Okay. God, I hate giving you three life for this, but whatever. Yeah, but you gotta. Yeah, we're just not gonna get through it, and. Uh... This is a very interesting matchup for us too. Like, I feel like this is the hardest one for us to win, just because like any type of life gain is really hard for us. Oh. See, what had happened was we had caged one, and then they got another. Oh, interesting, interesting. That was the... What I didn't expect was that they would have two. Same. Yeah. Some reason that this did not... I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah. They did, though. So here we are. I like that haste, though. I like that haste. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they're at 17 still. Hmm. I think we're just going to instigate. Just go wide soon. Soon to go wide. Wide boys going wide soon. Could we get a sound clip? Yeah, what kind? I don't know. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a <laughs> thick ass boy. Damn. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> they keep gaining life. Wish they wouldn't. Mm. Fiery mm. finish. You're doing that Frank math in your head. <laughs> I can see it. There's something else we can do here. I feel like we just heroic reinforcements. I just... They have to double block this guy in order to kill it. Yeah. Do we? Is it worth losing it though? So if they double block here, yeah. I feel like that's like our win condition in a sense, right? Like, what if you do it and just don't attack with that? I'm tempted to, to make this guy unable to block and then just attack. So if you want to kill it, you have to block with these two. Uh huh. That and then they're not better. expecting the heroic reinforcements. Like that, like the heroic reinforcements would be uh, more of a blowout. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we don't know what they have, but... That's yeah, but now, yeah. now like, their guys are much less impressive, so... And they have two cards in hand, so I think, actually, this is going to be very good if we can wait. Yeah. You also... I mean, there's a chance you fiery finish the... Late? Uh, that seems... Well, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. We just don't care about it. Like, I'll just trade here if, if we actually have to, or we can just take three yeah, for a while. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't matter that much. If 
Fiery finish feels expensive right now, though. Like, holding it and looking at it, I'm just like, damn it. They just got back Shield Mare and Sky March Blood, but are cool. Ah. Uh, see, they had a Shield Mare, and then we caged it, and then they had another one, uh -huh. and we traded for it. And then they had another one. And then they waltzed and got it back. Yeah, yeah. And they gained some more life. And then they did the fountain. <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm seeing here is they, they've gained a lot of life, Frank. Tell me more. Well, it's hard for us because we have a pretty aggressive deck. Right. Uh, with some amount of burn. So when they gain life, it, it's not as good for us. Hmm. There that guy is with the racing seat again. <laughs> What's the move? You didn't explain the move. Were we just waiting? I'm waiting because I want to be able to cast Heroic Reinforcements and Sure Strike in the same turn. Like this? Like this. Okay. Let's go. Was that you blowing up? Yeah. So what's happening now is that you're you're using another card out of your hand to get rid of <laughs> their shield mare. And that's good for us right now. I mean we they're out of fourteen now, so that's pretty good, and they have no cards and no shield mare. Well now, they have one card, but they have twenty five cards left in their deck, and I'm just hoping that they don't have 25 more shield mares. That would be really bad. That would be the worst outcome for us. God, I really don't care about this thing at all. Well, we have that big fiery finish for it. That seems like a good fiery finish, right? Or do we, like, actually not care at all? It's a big stupid 6-5. We can block it for days, or... I like The more that. we block it, it's like the... I think the thing is, the gift we took, uh, I think we, there was a Trumpet Blast in the pack, which would have been really good. Mm. Yes, I, I did see a Trumpet Blast. I like Shock. Let's go. Thank you. What? Buddy Lee, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I like that you're so nice to the people that resub. I mean, they're, like, supporting, they're keeping me alive, you know? Yeah, it's dope. But, like, you actually, like, that, like, I can tell, like, I know you. Like, when you say that, you're like, dude, thanks. I really appreciate it's it. It's real. They can, they can subscribe to anyone they want, and here they are. Listen to this man. Ten best commentator ever bits. Dang. That's <laughs> you, by the way. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Dude, I need to come hang out with you more. They tell me that I look like Spider Man and they tell me yeah. to read audio books. Dude, I am I have no complaints about you coming and hanging out more. This is great. How frequently can you get over here from California, you think? Uh I mean I've been able to. I've finagled my way over. The last time you were like, Hey, are we gonna hang out? And then yeah. you never got a hold of me and I was really I was like, You're unbelievable. Well, here I am now. I like didn't my thing is that I don't book enough time here. And that's why I'm really excited that I extended this trip. Me too. And if I don't see you again, I'll Adam's, be real mad. Adam's going to hear that on the stream and be like, bro, that's even more time we can't go to the gym. And I'm going to be like, I know, Adam. To the gym? It. Yeah, we've been going to the gym. Look Ooh. how strong I am. I'm not that strong yet. But... That's real Tom Holland of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, another shot. Oh, hold on. Oh. They're going to do a thing, though. Hold on. Wait. Do you have a button for, like, a sound of top picking a shock? What's the move here? Uh, they're going to probably pump this guy, which is fine. But you're not trying to waste a shock on it? If we shock it, they pump in response and it goes to a 3-3. Yeah. Do they? Did they? Uh. There it is. Frank, I think we're going to get this. It's close. We could have killed this too. But this guy doesn't actually kill our guys. And a 3-3 of Johnny's Pride Mate does. Yes. Here we go, six six demon. Oh, we go blood lords. Oh, that's fucking that's insane. Ooh, we don't like that. Electrify off the top. Meteor golem off the top. All right, here's the thing. There's a strong chance they have nineteen more shield mares. That ain't it. It's a creature. 
They block, block. They take three. Oh, crying out loud. I also wouldn't mind seeing the, the goblin removal creature that we got. Oh, actually, that's not relevant enough right now. Never mind. I would mind seeing that. Yeah, <laughs> jinx. That's actually pretty good. What do we got? One, Wait, is it two, four? three. Yeah, this is exactly four. Oh, what's up? I manifested that. You're welcome. It's, quite, it's okay. They have abnormal, abnormal endurance, so it's not going to do anything. Mighty leap. Oh, they just died. Oh, got your bitch ass. <laughs> All right, we're not out of this game yet. All right, that's worse. What's worse? What happened? Uh, they, they killed our guy. Him. What an interesting mm -hmm. game. It's like top deck mode versus... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take three. I wish we had Electrify to get rid of that. 100 called it bits. 100 bits. Now, if that was an Electrify, I would have been like... Get your bits here! 100 of them. Don't know what it means, but you can get them here. What do they mean? What What does what mean? The bits. Bits are like donations. Oh. Every bit is a penny, so hundred bits is like a dollar. Hundred bits. Get Donate your dollar your here. Oh sure, strike. <laughs> do it. Ooh, do it. Get them. See, are the thing is, they're taking three and going to four here. You're not going to O-Shore strike it? Not yet. Oh, you're a wild animal. Oh. What? Hmm. What? What's happening? They're going to kill our guy. Uh-huh. So couldn't you O-Shore? Oh, fuck. If you O-Shore strike it, though, it's still coming back. Yeah, but we save our guy to do it. So we net nothing. What? Okay. They activate it. Okay. All right. Well. Babu Singe, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yo, welcome. We're almost guy. 360? My God, what Yo, a day. Yo, it's because we put 500. That's the thing. Oh, I like that. That was a good draw. I like that. What game are we on? Game three. Oh. <laughs> They have four cards in hand now. Well, they better have one. They better have a removal spell in hand. And oh, they go to one. They go to one. This is not a board that favors you being at one, buddy. I think we got this, buddy. Whoa! Oh, I thought we were going to slap five. Could you? I did it. Thank you. I, didn't I thought we were going to slap five, I, so I did it. Nosegad, thank you so much for the reset. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yo. All right, do we want to change anything? Uh, all right, well, do you feel... I know we just had the expensive talk. Oh, you took out Fiery Finish. Yeah, it was in the sideboard, because we already have enough removal. We have Electrify as Meteor Golem. Okay. What else is available? What else is there Not that might much. be... Like, in a weird way, does Mighty Leap do anything for you? In place of... Maybe, only because you can, like, bounce... Like something like this, and just get in there for eight flying. Right. I don't know. Oh, there still is that shock too. Right? I like the new mic. This is a good mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tijuana. I like Mexico. Mm. It's not their name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go. You're just going for it. You're just doing it live. Enemies, have a good afternoon, buddy. Who People got? say Axe. Axe could be good, actually. I like Axe over Sure Strike. Oh. Because it's just a reusable Sure Strike for all our tokens. I agree with that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Take out six and... We don't even have six and seven drops. We have one seven drop, and that's it. And I think it's just versatile enough to, to keep in. Yeah, and I've never played the Golem, guys. So give it to me. <sighs> ten out of ten would Tijuana again. 
<laughs> they like my jokes. <laughs> they know. They know. Dang, the chat blowing up. That's because you're a good you're a good mic. Are Mike's and Frank's world like Morty's to R2 Rick's? Yeah, these are the, he's just one of my Morty's. Hey, uh, you're a good Morty. <laughs> that show is so good. What's happening? We're, we our match is starting. Yeah, this is fine. It's not great, but it'll do all the things we want it to do. We're just going to kill him with this and then lava axe him right when we deal 15. Five swings and a lava axe. That's what it's That's all it takes. Five swings and a lava axe. That's actually a really good starting hand. I like that a bunch. <laughs> I said that. You're not even listening to me, man. Well, because I was singing the song. Two drop. Thanks. Wow. Manifested destiny. Five swings and a lava axe. Oh, that's the worst card uh, against it. Five swings and a lava axe. What you gonna do about a brew? We got another electrifying? Did we have electrifying here? Did we have two? We only have two. Is this worth trading? Oh, I guess I guess they're not gonna do it anyway. All right. Was it worth what? I wonder if it was worth it. This guy for these two. Oh yeah. Wow, Lightning that's rude. Strike. That's a good one. Do you think that somebody has ever been playing Magic Online and then also been watching your stream and then realized that they were playing against you and then saw your hand and... Yes. And, Actually? And they do it deliberately. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I said it as like a... It's like called a... stream sniping. Yeah, I actually got no big thing about it on Facebook the other, the other day. Oh, really? Man, I said it as like some crazy thing that would never happen. No, people actually, they'll be like, oh, you're streaming? Let me go to your stream and look at what's in your hand. It's... And then they're like, I didn't consider it cheating. because Oh, the double lightning strike, which is uncommon. Seems good. Oh, wow. Thank you. Hmm. Now we have to assume lucky, that lucky, lucky, 28 lucky. cards in their deck are lightning strikes. I would assume that, yes. You have to play around that. Whatever. I'm just going to get in there with this guy and see what... I think they're missing a color. So I really just want to maximize the amount of damage I can deal with this guy. Especially because in two more swings, we can kill them. Oh, they found it. Mm, How us. lucky, 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 lucky. They're one of us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy to me that you act like that. I always hold it. I feel like I learned something from you. Well, like, if I draw something that I'm going to play next turn, then I want to play that next turn, right? And then I'm not going to have mana to lob X then. Yeah. And, like, I want to be able to kill them at six. Like, I don't want to give them another turn after. Like, if I draw, like, a pump spell and, like, a thing for this guy and I can deal six somehow, mm -hmm. I want to be them to die. I don't want to give them another turn after that to wait to lob X because then you're just giving them a chance to gain life. That's really interesting. I feel like that's like playing aggro the right way. I mean, it's not, I mean, it, it depends on the situation, though. Like, if you have a lightning bolt or something, you just hold that because it has more uses. And, um, you know, alternatively, like, it's cheaper, right? Like, right? like you can use just, it at the end of their turn. Yeah, Lob X is five mana, and you have to use it during your turn, so. So you just get to getting. Well, they're down to 25 lightning strikes, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is a situation where Mighty Leap would be great. But we did not do it, right? No. I like it better than... I don't know. I don't know what I like it better than. It's just hard because, like, are we just conditionally saying that right now because that's what we need? Well, you're just trying to deal damage, so the float like the, the float is great. Do we cage their cage? Yes. 
We have to assume that they have another 24 cages, though. Sure strike. Just do it. What do you... Just sure strike now. Right, sure strike. Okay. Uh, hey, that's sort of relevant. And then we can cage the cage. Pyromancer's Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <coughs> oh wow oh boy oh 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 Sean cages the cage yeah this in trample is pretty good next turn I would love to see a photoshop version of that with Nicolas Cage's face on that bowl Nicholas's cage. Nico Bolas's cage. Nico Bolas cage. Oh my god. Unhinged Island! Oh, you're my favorite land ever. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That is the best island. It is good. It's a good one. Wait, so do we have a chance here, Frank? We have the reinforcements. Oh yeah, we're there at six. We have a total chance. This feels good. We have two cards in hand, so we have to assume that they're both lightning strikes. Yeah, so we can't go to six, and they'll just lightning... Oh, they sure strike, and then Lava Axe is their last two cards. Actually incredible. Oh, they have... <laughs> just unbelievable. <laughs> it's funny because we lost to our deck. Shot Actually unbelievable. Into Gift of Paradise, I guess, right? <laughs> oh my god because we could use the life gain lucky 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 we did like mighty leap instead of sure strike yeah i like that Typical of a Frank game, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the, everybody knows. That seems bad. Yeah, it doesn't seem great, but... You're in for it? I mean, I don't want to go to six here. Like, yeah, we can cast everything we draw. Like, Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's... All right. The expensive X threes don't look fantastic. I have no idea what you're saying right now. X. No love for line breaker. The three two. Uh, no, no love for that guy at all. Three two. It's literally the three two white guy for three. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just this 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 hand is not great. What, he did the ability? He did the ability. Uh-huh. Okay. I like that right there. That's great. It's pretty good on this board, yeah. That was a really good draw. I wouldn't say it's a really good draw. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a good draw. We would hope that we're not going to draw land after this, though. Get all those pesky things out of the way. I hate that he has draw right now. What did we take over the pyromancer? My dad. Hooting mandrills. They are hooting. Wow, double dismissive pyromancer. Wow. Seems good. However, we will be able to cast the meteor golem. Do it. Block it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Seems fine, I guess. I don't know. No, this is fine. It's like we're that dog in the room on fire. This is this fine. is just fine. You meteor ball in the pyromancer, yeah. Oh yeah. If they have nothing else before, then sure. Because as soon as you do that, 
cool. It's funny, it's a very similar board state. How do they? They cast it. That's how. <laughs> how did they get that? How did they? I don't understand. How'd that pesky old thing get there? We don't like that. Well, butter my biscuit. <laughs> Still gets me. Do you take... What do you take now with the meteor going? I don't know. Depends on if we draw a shock here. Reinforcements is good. I think we just get rid of the 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Reinforcements is good. I agree. Yeah. Not anymore. Oh. We have to assume they have another 24 lightning strikes as well. That doesn't feel very good. But again, we have a grip of land. Okay. Just top deck city, population us. Top deck city. Top deck city. We're not dead, but they do have more cards, and they did loot more, so. We have to assume that they have three lightning strikes in hand. Or three lava axes. Wow. They caged the cage. Havoc devils. Love to see them. If we had one more land, we could have actually play both of these, which is pretty that good. That would have been wild. But no, haste. Oh. <laughs> It's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. <laughs> Ooh, that one's good too. We have to assume they have. Oh my god, what do they have? I'm not ready for it. They had another game. <laughs> god, like I can't. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, take that. Wow. Okay. All right. Hmm. Was that... Is Was there any wisdom in waiting to see if they, like played something else to electrify no because i don't want them to keep looting and i also like this kills anything we put on board but we're just dead anyway so it doesn't matter because they always have the perfect number of cards <laughs> yeah the so thing that we had really to matter. assume was that they had the perfect number of cards that's what happened so we're one and one right now correct okay pretty pretty standard for uh the old the old lapore draft yep pretty standard <laughs> wonder what we're gonna get paired up again i recommend having the perfect number of cards solid strategy <laughs> i should have implored this that's yeah that was where you messed up was you should have had the perfect num uh, the number of cards they first picked double cast and gave them two of everything like they were all in commons too Hyromancer's cage uh dismissive pyromancers are rare they have two of that yeah. lightning strike they have two of that which is rare like it's just like why do you have two of every single uncommon and rare in your deck it's kind of unbelievable magic is hard mm -hmm. it is Lucky, 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 lucky. Burb. What a little shit bird. I didn't know people played that. Uh, the decks I play it usually have like five of them and you just can't deal with them. Just five burbs? Yeah. Well, I think we're in a pretty decent spot here. Gonna hit him with the brute. <laughs> any planes here would be good. Anyone. I'll take any planes. This mic is my favorite version. <laughs> <laughs> New and improved. I'm just kidding. Regular Mike is here too. He's at work. This is a good hand, Frank. You're gonna shock the burb? Nah. Oh, I was like, get out of here. Is that you talking to the bird? Get out of here, bird. 
I wish it would. The bird is like the little bug that was flying around. A bird is like a bug? That's flying around, annoying Frank. For music, Mike. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're quick with it. <laughs> oh, Nicholas God. is cage. That's pretty good. Yes. Can you like swap the art on cards in Magic Online? No. So it would show that instead? Yep. What? We missed our land drops, so we don't get to play any of our four drops, which are four of them. Okay, so remember last game how we said to have the perfect amount of cards? Mm -hmm. You didn't do that. I guess you're right. I dropped the ball. Yeah, there was one job was just have the perfect amount of cards. However, what are they really even... What are they doing? Please give me a planes. Okay, well... That would have been the last turn, but now they have a 6-6, six, six, so... Now they have a 6-6. Six, six. You could block and trade it. Seems bad, though. That seems really well, bad. we're at 7, Frank? Yep. <laughs> what do we... Wait a minute... <laughs> That's real bad. Correct. What do you... Wait, but Frank, it's their turn. They're going to attack. That's right. But... But Frank. Cool. You needed to have the perfect amount of cards there. This is why I like having a, a higher source of... A higher uh, distribution of, of planes, even though it's a lower mana. We don't actually need double blue... Double red until this... Uh, until turn four. And not being able to hit our white mana is... Uh, pretty bad so but that's like pretty uncommon too is it i don't know okay two shocks and a dude and a dude this is good and a dude yeah and a dude two shocks and a dude and a dude correct and a dude yeah <laughs> i think he's broken <laughs> Get your little bird bullshit out of here. Bird bullshit. It's more than bullshit. It's birds. It's birds. You shocked the bird. About to shock it again. Well, I that's not a bird, so I'm not going to shock it again. Well, shock him again. Shock the monkey! Shock's fired. Boston, Boston, Boston. Bustin' makes me feel good. Look at us. We're curving out. Yeah, and then we got a seven drop in the hand. Couple dudes curving out into a seven drop. You know, I wish the Meteor Golem cost six. Yeah, that'd be real good. Isn't that pretty common, too, in, like, their R&D? Like, where they'll, like, have a card like that, and they'll be like, wait a minute, you guys. It's too good. And I'm like, all right, make it cost one more. Don't they do that often? Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 A little combat trick. What? Do you have two? You have two, don't you? Stop. They have two? Oh, it's two. Are they trading? What the hell? What? <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. That's nice. That makes up for the time that they had the perfect amount yeah, of cards. Yeah, they just threw their Titanic growth away. Yeah. Fantastic. Hey, did you want to see my Titanic growth? Did you know that Bustin makes me feel good, <laughs> I guess? Man. I bet they're not stoked about it. Holy that. Lord above, I've been gone the way so long that now seeing Mike again, he looks great. <laughs> <laughs> a lot has changed since oh, I saw another you last. One. Look, they had another one there. What did they even... Maybe it was like some weird mental bluff where they're like... I don't even know. Lava Axe Gary. Two for a reachy guy. Yeah. 
All right, so now any land is good and any spell is good, so... Yeah. And they don't really have much of a board state. Well, they didn't tap wrong the first time. They just don't have double green, so they can't actually cast both of them, even if they tap differently. But they could show you that they had one for no reason. Well, Bustin does make you feel good. I think we just went from really good, where our opponent's just throwing away value in cards, and uh, to a point where we're like, we're just losing because they have three dudes. Three dudes. Uh, yeah, but you're about to remove one of them. I mean, we'll probably never draw that seventh land. No, no. No, no. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what? we're probably we're probably dead. They're probably just gonna kill us now. They deal three, four, five, six, and they probably have a third Titanic growth in hand. So we have to assume they have twenty four more. <laughs> No, we're not dead. Please land. All right, we did it. Yeah. So now the problem is that we're at four. Correct. And they could have Mighty Leap and it just kills us. Green-white is such an interesting one in this format for me. I feel like it doesn't do anything, <clears throat> but like it just exists like this. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Andrew's getting his think on. Like we're one mighty leap away from death, so let's see how many turns it takes him to draw their mighty leap. Yeah, but like. Uh... Yep, that'll do it. That's and dead. All right. Damn it. All right. A uh, nice quick uh, one-two <laughs> draft here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed me and uh, what do you music, Mike or Andrew? How, how did like? Do you think we drafted well? Like, what do you? Do you I think thought our deck seemed fine. Um, it seemed good to me. I was I was hype on it. I uh. I've stopped really thinking about this format very uh, competitively in the past a couple days because I've just been getting a little... I'm a little burnt out, as you might notice. And uh, What have you been running into? Is it just that like everybody has the right cards and they have like every lightning strike? It's that combined with the fact that um, we always get mana screwed at least one game or match uh, in every draft. Yeah. And um, like there was a comment on YouTube... That was like, uh, oh, it's gone now. I guess I deleted it. Suck here. Um, they were like, hey, I'm getting really burnt out on you drafting all these M19 drafts and not hitting your land drops every three games. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, good. I'm glad it's not just me. Great. Um, so either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign up, like, and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon or my Twitch profile. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. I had fun still. That's all that matters. <laughs>